Hi, Cece from the Ugly Bug Fly Shop here, and it's time for your weekly Ugly Bug update. Let's get it. As far as the fishing goes, not too much has changed on the river. Still throwing those midges and those PMDs, um, and definitely those hoppers. Especially shoot for later in the day on the hoppers and when there's a little bit of wind. Um, the only thing that has changed is Fremont is down to 1500, which is exciting, and the mile is down to 2000. For the remainder of our river report, I'm going to hand it over to one of our clients, Rob Mahaffey. Alright, so here's the dealio. Uh, Andrew and I decided to go fish the Miracle Mile. And so far, man, this has been epic. It's probably ruined it for me. It's kind of like when you go to Canada and go waterfowl hunting and then come back and try to hammer some ducks on your own pond. But, and this is crazy. This is an amazing place. Uh, we did go with a guide. We went with Ugly Bug Fly Shop and Forrest has been our guide for the day, but it's been totally amazing. Just got done with lunch. Thanks, we caught some really nice fish. I'd say I caught a trout this morning. I'll never, I probably won't ever beat this is really super awesome. It's a great fishery. If you ever get a chance, uh, I would definitely put it on your bucket list of fishing destinations because I think it's, I think it's world class. Awesome, love it. It's the best place in the world right now. Thanks, Rob. Moving on, our angler of the week is Emily Bauer. Boom! She was on this last week's round of Ugly Bugs and Crazy Ladies and absolutely killed it, so big thumbs up for Emily Bauer. Um, also, our fly tying section has been completely updated on our webpage, so if you're looking for any fly tying materials, you can see everything that we have on our website. Come to the shop and don't hesitate to give us a call if you have any questions about it. Last but not least, we're going to leave you with a little Ugly Bug Fly Shop tip of the week. Um, this week's tip is to be mindful of water temperature. Anything in the upper 60s to low 70s can be lethal to brown trout and rainbow trout. Um, so just make sure you're checking the water with the fishing thermometer so that we can keep our river thriving. Thanks so much everybody and tight lines.